and we're back. Today we're going to be changing these gray Joy-Cons into pink Joy-Cons. So we're looking at a quick modding tutorial. This is what they were before. This is what they look like now after the modding and the changes that we made. You'll need a couple of tools to get started. Uh, one is a tri-wing screwdriver, tweezers, original pair of Joy-Cons, and an empty shell, as we have here. So you'll need to use all of the uh, interior guts to make this transformation happen. That means all the circuitry, all the buttons, the rails on the side, screws, everything. So let's get started. Now the tri-wing screwdriver, screwdriver is needed for um, to open it up from the back. There are four screws for each Joy-Con. Uh, so we're going to take those off, um, both of them. We're going to skip a few parts just to save you time, uh, rather than going through the full modding of both of them. Give you a general idea from there. It's um, pretty easy to follow along. It does require a lot of patience. There's a lot of small parts and it's fairly easy to damage or break a ribbon cable. Now, rather than disconnecting everything and taking off all the ribbon cables, we did a lot of um, flopping back and forth, um, either to the left or to the right, depending on uh, whichever way was easier to um, make all the changes with the least amount of uh, disassembly required or needed. Now, once you get all the screws out, oh, one left. Once you get all the screws out, it's basically just prying it apart uh, and being able to um, start them on. Now be careful, uh, the easiest way to open it up is on the side that has the uh, rail. So as we can see we're using uh, the back of the tweezers because it's fairly flat, it makes it easier to take it apart. So that's the side you should start to open it up, but do not pry it fully open because there is a ribbon cable that gets in the way and can easily be damaged. So we're taking our time here trying to open it up. Um, it will test your patience. Um, if you don't have it, maybe it may not be such a good idea to do the uh, this mod because it can damage your Joy-Cons. And they're pretty expensive to replace. So there you go, you see that one is opened up. Um, as you see there is, uh, it may be a little hard to see, but there is a ribbon cable on the rail side. Going to um, slowly squeeze in there. Ooh, don't want to break it. There we go. <clears throat> Took a bit longer than the first one, but we did uh, get it opened up. Now, easiest thing to do is just pop off the battery for both of them. After that, there is uh, several screws that need to be taken off for each of the uh, plastic covers that are right below the battery. There are three screws holding each one of them down. Uh, make sure you keep your screws in order because it's going to be challenging to uh, assemble it back up together again. So here we have um, this one already taken apart.
all of the screws are visible once you get the um, battery and the plastic uh, cover holding the battery off. Uh, it's just a matter of, like we said earlier, flipping it either to the right or the, to the left uh, to be able to make all the changes uh, to take it out. There we go. Um, the pieces have been put in place on the one of them. Now it's just a matter of uh, snapping it back together. Make sure that you align the uh, rail on the inside of the top portion of the Joy-Con. And also make sure that the buttons have not been moved around or misplaced or slightly off center. They can move around and it will cause you frustrations later on and you'll have to reopen it up. So make sure that everything's aligned correctly on the inside before you start screwing things on. Now we did need to use a Phillips screwdriver as well for the inside. The tri-wing is only needed for the outside screws. Everything on the inside uses the, uh, the, the standard uh, screwdriver type. We'll get those uh, all in there slowly but surely. Now a good idea is to make sure that uh, once you assemble one of them, just plug it in, try it out to see if it's actually working. Um, as you see here, we have um, an original um, Nintendo uh, Switch Joy-Con on the left-hand side that we did not mod. Uh, we couldn't use the other gray one, um, so we, we plugged in this one. Now we're going to quickly go into the settings and make sure that all the buttons do work. It's not there. Oh, that, that's the one. I believe. Oh, test buttons. There we go. Perfect. Now let's make sure everything is working. Just press all the buttons. Make sure that they're all uh, responding. If they are, well done. It was a success. Time for the next operation. The rail portion is fairly easy to take off, um, should have mentioned this earlier on the other one but um, you'll notice that when you're uh, disassembling it, it's only held in by one screw. It's the uh, top portion that's a lot more challenging. There we go, that's it. Don't forget the little uh, release button. Make sure that they're always placed facing the same direction. All right, buttons are in place. Put this uh, rubbery cover back on. Make sure everything is set correctly. Uh, last thing you want to do is after you screw in everything, spent all this time, is realize that something wasn't uh, one of the buttons or something else was not installed properly and then you have to reopen it up all right now that those are done uh, the next step is to uh, download the software uh, we'll provide the links in the description below uh, download the software to change the actual color on your Nintendo switch to the actual pink shell that we installed um, first step is make sure your Windows or Mac PC I believe this software is only available on Windows I could be wrong recognizes the uh, Joy-Con, so connected via Bluetooth, and then launch the software. There we go. As we see, it is being recognized as a gray Joy-Con, first of all. We're going to dump the uh, SBI flash. It's going to take some time, so we're going to skip over uh, all that. We're not going to make anyone wait 10 minutes watching the dumping uh, occur. 
All right, here we are. Uh, dumping has been done. Uh, it's a good idea to just back up the actual software on both Joy Cons before making any changes. So it does save it to the same folder. So let's go ahead and change the color to the uh, pink one. All right, update. Press OK. Right color. Confirm. And there you go. It is done. Perfect. Disconnect it over here. And next step is to plug it in to make sure that it is being recognized correctly on the switch. Here is the switch with the uh, first, first pink one that we already did. Let's connect the next one. All right, snapped in place. Yep, it is connecting. Um, sorry, it is detecting it as a pink one. Let me just uh, go into the um, controllers and show you exactly what I mean. Yep, definitely is. Looks like the right one's not connected in properly. We'll have to release that and plug that back in. But as you see, there you go, pink.